It's time. It's time. To sit in traffic. <laughs> to sit in traffic. We're going to Disney Springs because... We're going to an Andrew McMahon in the Wilderness concert. I'm so excited. So excited. The traffic is too much right now. Do you see this? This is eye makeup? This is my high school girlfriend right here, Sarah oh, Ryan. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. I just had to do it for the concert. Yeah. For the old time's sake. Yeah. Um, we're vlogging on the cell phone today because cameras, video cameras are not allowed into House of Blues tonight. Yes. And the doors open in nine minutes. And we are farther than nine minutes away. But yeah. It should be okay, right? Yeah. We're trying to get as close as possible. And, well, that's, I mean, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. The small venue. We had to go to well, work reality, today. Like, we didn't even realize that we were gonna go to this concert. Even if we were like, the exact same place we were for One Republic, that'll still be an amazing spot. Yeah. Top of the world, you and I. Top of the world lounge. Not a lot of time. Remember no. We're on the very tip top of the parking garage because they didn't tell us. It's a busy day. Well, well, it's a busy day, but because they're like redoing the sensors for the parking structure to let you know if there's a car parked there or not, they're redoing them to make them like updated. And half of the third floor, which is the floor we always park on, is currently closed. So it was a really busy line. Straight went straight to the top, so we can get straight in there. Um, doors opened eight minutes ago. Ha! It keeps going. Oh no! We should have been no. here at eight a.m. No, it is such a long line. I did like I was about to point out like, oh, that's not too bad of a line. Like, we waited in line for like two hours when we saw yeah. him downtown last year. Oh my god, it goes all the way past the boat. Made it in. We got a good spot. I'll show you our stuff. It's not too shabby considering how yeah, afraid I was after that line. Cheers. Cheers. For the, uh, my fourth time, right? Your sixth? Yes. Pretty good. It's really good. Keyboard, this was the best. Yeah. Do we have one more band? One more band. Okay. 20 minutes later. Band number
to make you wait. You all been so kind and uh, we know the encore is bullshit. I mean, let's be honest. Adolescents and young adults who face cancer like the one that I faced, uh, they got a hard road. There's a lot of, there's a lot that we can do for them and uh, I really appreciate the fact that there are people out there who, uh, who want to support the Dear Jack Foundation because we are making a real difference for people who are in that age range. Thank you. So have you ever lost your voice? Which, I mean, I lost a portion of it tonight, but you guys filled in the blanks. <laughs> Seems appropriate that we play this one for you. It's called Crashing.
my songs. This room has always been so good to me. Thank you, Orlando, for the thank you for giving us a piece of yourself tonight. I want to say thank you to Grizz Folk and Floor for coming out here and rocking the shit out of this stage before we got up here. Grizz Folk, Floor, give me that vote! Best dressed man in the world, Mr. Mikey the Kid on the bass. Tommy Lee once called the heat, Mr. J. McMillan on the drum set. He's a wizard, but not that one. Mr. Zach Clark on the keys. I'm rock and roll soulmate, Mr. Bobby Raw Anderson on the guitar. my hearing. I feel like I lost my voice. I feel like, like this. I feel like I'm I at one point I saw the girl next to me plugging her ear. But I don't know if it was the song or if it was me. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Andrew McMahon just gets us. I mean like to say it simply, he's like the soundtrack of our like our entire relationship because he's had three different bands yeah. yeah he's had three different bands and we've like followed him along all those bands yeah we were like something corporate was a little bit i feel like i got into after like we weren't like i never saw something corporate i was yeah like, i learned all something something corporate from my brother yeah but um, then when he went in he went from something corporate to jack's mannequin yeah. then we were like that full was, fledged like, our bread and butter. yes and then when he like ended that and, and started his own like his own Andrew Man in the Wilderness. And like Cecilia and the Satellite was like on the radio. I heard and I was like, this that's, is Andrew. That's Andrew. Yeah. So good. So good. Thank, you so much. Thank you. She gave me two. She gave me one really delicious one. Andrew Man always gets us because it's also like followed through a relationship, but also he suffered through leukemia. Oh, yeah, I, I got that on. Um, Film. Remember last time we saw him, we became bone marrow donors. That's why. It was because um, of him so and his So again, we're going to put the link in for his foundation. And Super important. If you feel so inclined to do so yourself. Because we even got reached, like many of you reached out to us after those videos and were like, hey, I did or family or friends or loved ones needed bone marrow transplants because of their own struggles and medical issues. And then we also had people reaching out like there were nurses or doctors or work in the field that are like, thank you for spreading this because it is so important. People, people think about donating blood, people think about other things, but they don't always think of registering for bone marrow. So we'll put that down below. Yeah. 
but also like he didn't say it this time but his song his like number number one of all time cecilia and the satellite like his number one like radio wise yeah like charts sugar booze closed but his number one commercial song success is about his daughter and last time we cecilia saw him and the satellite. yes last time we saw him he told a really cute story a really important story about how like he was a he was a young boy when he had cancer and he had a great doctor and the doctor was like you need to freeze your sperm so you can have children or you have the possibility to have children in the future because the treatments he was going to get was going to make that impossible mm-hmm. the possibility and of it the possibility of it gone at the time he didn't th- wasn't thinking about kids he was yeah. like i don't want kids mm-hmm. and the doctor was literally like i'm not going to treat you unless you do that because what's the point in treating you like you don't know this now because you're a young kid but you at least want to give yourself the opportunity in later life to have a family and he talks about like that doctor changed his life because not only saved him cured him of cancer but gave him his family family. oh locked there we go we are home while we're getting ready for bed, I'll read today's quote. May the gratitude in my heart kiss all the universe. Hafiz. Hafiz. The sweet one. We're home. We're home. Eve, super weird. Weird? Yeah. <laughs> that was kind of goofy. It was a very fun concert. It was a lot of fun. I loved every minute of it. Highly suggest checking out Andrew McMahon. Check out the Dear Jack Foundation. And the Dear Jack documentary. I'll link that below too. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Is it Netflix or YouTube? Or both? YouTube. Okay. I'm working from home tomorrow, so I'll, we'll see about starting the vlog from home. Mm-hmm. We don't know what we're doing yet tomorrow. We have, a, no. we have We're like booked for the weekend. Like we have full plans for Saturday and Sunday. Productive and fun things. But it's going to be a good weekend. Yes. And tomorrow's Friday. Good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>